Hi again, this is Lucy Gray and I'm here today uh, giving you an overview of participate learning. In my first segment, I discussed uh, participate learning and the collections that you can create with all sorts of wonderful content. In my second segment, I discussed uh, bookmarking resources to participate learning. And now I wanna show you something that I think is really new and different and a game changer in terms of leveraging Twitter for your professional learning. So right now I am at participate.com and I'm logged in as myself. And right on the front page, you're going to see uh, a banner that says new, check out our new participate chats for Twitter. And you can also get to this through your, your uh, dashboard, by the way. So uh, two different places that you can access this feature that I think is pretty cool. So I'm going to click on participate chats for Twitter and you're going to see a list of pre-selected hashtags for many of the popular Twitter chats that are going on in education today. For instance, if you click on Edmodo chat, you're going to see uh, people who have participated in Edmodo chats. You're going to see resources on the left-hand page that have been mentioned in um, Edmodo chats and you're going to see transcripts um, of conversations that have happened over Edmodo chats. And you can actually go back and look at previous ones as well uh, if you'd like to, okay? You can create a transcript of these chats uh, based on a time period and you can uh, create a collection of resources culled from a certain time period on Twitter as well. And so it's pretty exciting. Um, and then you can share it with people as well through a link, through email, through social media. And you can actually participate in the chat down here at the bottom of the window. You can actually add your own stuff and participate in that chat without having to go to Twitter's own client. So I think this is pretty new and different. You can really, really get um, you know, I, I find Twitter chats to be overwhelming sometimes because there's so much stuff coming at you. And this way, it becomes much more of a manageable experience and you can save a lot of the great resources that are shared in education Twitter chats um, into your own resources on participate learning. So it's a win-win situation, um, I think, in general. Another one that I'd like to show you really quickly is that I participate in from time to time is Global Ed Chat. This meets on Thursdays um, from, I think, 5 p.m. Eastern. If you're interested in global education, uh, you can see that the next one is coming up. It's going to be focused on career and technical education, and it's happening this Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Uh, 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 5 p.m. Pacific, and you can see the participating organizations that are part of that. The Asia Society is the convener of this, um, but Longview Foundation and ACTE and CTE Works will also be participating in this, so it should be an interesting conversation. So on you know Thursday or even after Thursday, I can create a transcript of that chat that's happening tomorrow, and I can also create a collection of anything that's any web resource that's that is cited during that chat, and then I can share it with my followers or whomever I want to. Um, I can also quickly follow people who are regular participants in these chats too and find more like-minded people who are interested in the same things that I am. And then I can individually bookmark resources that I think might be useful to, uh, to one of my collections or for future reference or whatever. I can click on here and add it to... Um, whatever collection I want to. And I'm going to put that right now into my global resources collection, okay? You can also type right in here and participate in the chat tomorrow um, right from here, and it will post to Twitter for you. So I look at this as like one-stop shopping for managing educational chats on Twitter. And I have not seen any Twitter client like this. Um, and anything that's really geared towards curation and geared towards education. So I think this is something that is you need to check out and uh, find your favorite chat and uh, try it out in the next couple weeks.
and let me know how it goes. Thanks for listening.